current Marriott International President Stephanie Meinartz will now be Under Armour's new chief executive. Meinartz has been at Marriott for over 25 years and comes to Under Armour with little retail experience. Wall Street analysts a bit mixed on the reaction there with the stock. Wells Fargo lowering its price target from $20 to $14. Bard and Telsey upping their targets slightly to $10 and $11 respectively. But really, I want to focus on what one analyst had to say here, Dave. David, Schwar David Schwartz at Morningstar said he has fair value on shares at $15.50, and he likes the move because it reminds him of what Nike did with CEO John Donahoe in 2020. And that's because of the new CEO here for Under Armour's experience in digital sales yeah. and digital marketing. That's an area Nike grew a ton over the last two years, somewhere where Under Armour's sort of been lagging. I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. Yeah, there's a lot of ways they are trailing Nike, needless to say. But what we learned in this most recent quarterly report from Nike is the real asset probably is the thing they're executing the best is digitally. They know exactly when, where, and why you're buying your shoes. And that is a huge advantage over competitors. Also, like a couple competitors in naming a female CEO, Dix and Foot Locker, also in that space, long dominated by male CEOs. So that's nice to see as well. I'll tell you what, you want to look at the digital divide. I got a chart looking at us on the Wi-Fi Interactive, and this goes back to uh, the 2000s since the IPO. This is UAA in its heyday here, and this is trying to struggle with the digital divide. It's basically been in a sideways trading range for the last five years, now sits at the lower end, so pretty pretty bleak technical picture there. A turnaround strategy would be very welcome.